Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be drawing the Paralympic mascot of 2022, Shui Ron Ron. To begin, I am starting with colored pencils and I am going to just use regular computer paper. I'm starting with black and I am drawing the eyes first. So just little black ovals right next to each other here. Um, I've got maybe about a little bit wider than a finger apart. And I'm trying to leave little white highlights in the eyes so that that gives them a little bit more life. So I just use a black colored pencil for that. And now I'm going to use a pink and just really lightly make some rosy cheeks. I'm kind of in a diagonal line um, towards the outside edge of the eyes here. And I'm not pressing super hard with my colored pencil. The cheeks are a little bit larger than the size of the eyes. Next, I'm going to find a red and I'm going to be outlining the splash of snow on the lantern's face. So, you know, the nice thing about this is if, if it's not exactly like mine, it's not a huge deal because this is just a splash of snow. So it could be lots of different shapes and sizes. Um, I'm creating these kind of curved lines that go around the outside of the eyes and the cheeks and then curving around the little pinks here and then kind of having this smile line below the eyes like so and i'm going to change to a little bit warmer red for the actual lantern um, so i'm just kind of tracing over my lines again making sure they're nice and solid so this is outlining the snow splash on the lantern's face which of course is for the Winter Olympics. All right, next I am going to kind of lightly sketch a semi-curve line above where the eyes are. And then I'm gonna do the same thing below, a little bit farther away and a little bit shorter here than my other one. And I'm gonna connect these two lines with a rounded line for the outside edge of the lantern. I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Create a nice rounded line to connect the top and the bottom. I'm making sure that they're nice and solid. And then what I'm going to do is add those um, dividing lines for the lanterns, like the little folds. And I start in the middle and then I'm adding curved lines here on either side. And this kind of helps make the lantern look not so flat. Giving these curved lines kind of gives it some more form. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some color. Now I am trying to be careful not to color right over those dividing lines. I will leave those a little bit lighter here. Now this Paralympic mascot is a Chinese lantern child and he has a glowing heart. Um, it symbolizes warmth, friendship, courage, and perseverance of the Paralympic athletes. This design was one of over 5,000 that was chosen along with Bing Dun Dwen the uh, panda mascot and they are um, specially chosen to represent the olympic games this year now as you can see i am adding a darker red just to give a little bit more depth here to the mascot so i'm pushing pretty hard along the edges here to add some value in this area and especially along the edges and the top and bottom of this colored in area. Now the Chinese lantern is a cultural symbol 
and it represents celebration and harvest and prosperity in the Chinese culture. Red is considered the most festive color in China and um, it's neat to be using a lantern because the Olympics kind of overlap the Chinese New Year and of course lanterns are a big part of that celebration as well so it's kind of neat to tie all of those things in together in the Chinese culture and with the Olympics being in Beijing. I'm adding a little bit of pink in this area just as kind of a little highlight um, to kind of lighten up the top part of the lantern. I am going to color a little bit of red with the pink to kind of blend them together so it's not quite so pink looking, but I just wanted to add a little bit of light towards the top center of my lantern here to give that highlight. And then you can see as I'm coloring the red, I'm trying to leave those dividing lines showing through so that we still get that idea of form as I am drawing the lantern sections here. Now the colored pencils I am using today are from Arteza. It's a nice set of colors and they usually have some nice rich color to them and they usually blend pretty well too so I enjoy using this set to uh, do some fancier coloring here. Um, I'm darkening the areas again with my darker red just to kind of add a little bit more detail to my lantern. I'm also going over the top of my lantern to, to add a little bit of shading there. I'm going to continue coloring in the sides of my lantern, trying to get all of this filled in with red. mascot is so cute what a good job they did deciding on these mascots i know they have been super popular in china in the olympics so far i know a lot of the things that have the mascots on them have even sold out already because they were so welcomed by the people in beijing If you want a tutorial on painting Chinese lanterns, I have a awesome watercolor tutorial on my channel as well. So if you take a look at my channel, Elky Art, you can paint some beautiful red Chinese lanterns um, just using watercolor and a Sharpie marker is all I did. And they are really a fun one to try out. So maybe take a look at that if you are interested in painting some lanterns. So I'm adding just a little bit of dark red along the lines that divide up my lantern just to kind of make them stand out, give them a little bit of another shade here. Um, I'm going along the right side of each of the lines and just trying to push really hard with my red colored pencil to add that detail along the lines of my lantern. All right, now I want to go ahead and add the top part of my lantern. So this section has some ornamental details and I'm just adding another little curved line over the top. I'm not pushing too hard with my colored pencil at this moment but I wanted to add a curve line there and then there's a couple of spots where you can see the lantern um, under the snow. So there's a little bit of snow on the top area 
of this lantern as well as on the face. And so I am just going to add a little bit of the red that's coming out from underneath the snow there. And then I also want to kind of divide up the ornamental section here. I'm starting with these little curved lines that almost look like little mountain peaks. Um, and they, they line up with the divisions of the lantern. So where those lines kind of divide up the lantern, I'm adding these points on top. And then I'm going to add one way over here to kind of indicate that section. And then in between those points, I'm going to create kind of this curved mound. Um, it's hard because I'm working so small to get some of the details in there. So I'm kind of simplifying this area a little bit by creating just a, a curved mound in between those little mountain peaks. And then I'm going to do these little areas on the top of the sections to kind of dip down and then they go back up. So down and up, down and up, right over the white sections that are left. So I'm trying to basically simplify some of the ornamental details. Now this area is actually done in yellow or gold. So I'm going to go ahead and color that in with my nice golden yellow to fill that section. That red and that yellow are such a fun festive combination. And then while I have the yellow, I'm also going to add the little handle that goes on the top of the lantern. And I do that just with a, a line that's floating. I'm adding a curve on one side of my line, a curve on the other side of my line, and then a little curve along the top for the handle. And then there's two little lines that go on the inside like this, little diagonal lines for the handle. And to make it so that the handle isn't just floating, I'm just going to use a real light gray to kind of outline where the snow is. So there's kind of this little mound of snow on the top of the lantern and I'm adding it in with a little bit of gray. Okay, while I've got the yellow on my mind here, I will add the scarf. Uh, but before I do that, I need to throw the little hand that's going up to the side. So I'm gonna make a line that kind of comes down here and then goes out just a little bit. And that's kind of where the scarf and the body meet the arm. And there's the little arm that is kind of right next to the head. It's kind of hugging that. I'm going to make a curve line here. And then I'm adding a little highlight on that top edge of the arm. And then I'm going to color that in red. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the little scarf in and so the scarf comes in right under the lantern head and it's also in that golden color so I am coloring really hard to try to get a nice bright color and I'm going to fill that all in with yellow and then I'm even adding the little bottom part of the scarf here it's not very long um, so I'm going to throw that in as well. And then just to add a little bit of shading, I'm switching to kind of a darker golden color. And I wanted just to kind of add a little bit of gold along the edges here on the sides and then along the top part of the uh, uh, scarf as well. All right, backing up here so that you can get the big picture. I am going to start working on the body of Shui Ron Ron. And the body is basically just a real nice curved line. You can see that it's more narrow than the head, so it's not quite as wide. 
and I'm adding just the curved line on either side of the scarf. Now on the right side, I am leaving room here for the other arm poking out from under the scarf as well. So kind of keep that in mind as you draw that in. There's the other little hand um, hanging down by its side. And then I also need a circle in the center of the body. The circle will be where we have the little Beijing um, sign and then the logo for the Olympics this year. I'm adding a little bit of yellow inside of that little ring as well, I'm trying to blend the two together. So I've got red kind of light and then the yellow I'm pushing kind of hard right on top of the red to kind of blend the two. That's kind of the glow that we were talking about. And then we'll also be for the logo. Right under the circle, I'm gonna make a little tiny V and then the cute little legs that come down underneath. They're very short, so I'm gonna add those in as I draw here. Get a nice outline going first, and then I will start adding some color to the body. And I'm using the same red as I did on the top making it nice and full and then there are these ornamental parts on the feet so i'm starting with a bunch of little curved lines that connect like so and then i will color in those i'm also being careful with the tassels of the scarf here to make lines in between those so that we don't lose those little tassels of the scarf and i'm going to go ahead and color in all the area of the body here pushing pretty hard with my colored pencil my arteza colored pencils so that i get a nice rich color all the way around the circle Now you can see as I am adding color to the other arm that I wanted to highlight there as well. So I'm leaving a little bit of that white just to kind of create that highlight. Now I'm gonna go in with my darker red. Now this is the same one that I used on the top part of my lantern and I'm gonna use it on the body as well just to kind of help outline, to add a little bit more depth to the sides of the body and just to give it a little bit more shading as I am coloring it in. Next, I want to draw in kind of an indication of the details of these little um, elements down here on the legs and they're so tiny that I can't really get too detailed so I'm just kind of creating some sections that kind of drop down under those parts and just by adding these little U shapes kind of underneath where I had my original lines and they're not um, overly detailed which is fine but they give an indication that there is some um, detail there at least and I'm darkening the bottom of the feet with my darker red and then I will go ahead and use some yellow to color in those little ornamental details on the feet of Shui Ron Ron. Okay 
Now before I start on the little belly, I wanted to add just a, a little bit of a shadow underneath the mascot so that it looks like he's standing on something. So I just added a really light gray oval underneath his feet that goes kind of behind his body as well. And I'm kind of just coloring that in lightly underneath him to give him kind of a ground to stand on so he doesn't look like he's just floating on the white paper. All right, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see the belly. And I wanna go ahead and add just an indication of the logo. So I'm using a very thin pen to write in Beijing. And then I will also write the year of the Olympics, which is 2022. And then the Olympic logo for this year is this kind of ribbon that has all the colors and it's very pretty. So I'm just gonna grab some of the different colors and it's so small on this little belly, but I'll try to kind of indicate what it looks like. So I'm starting with red. And then I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a blue for the next little piece here. It kind of zigzags, red, then blue. Now I'm using green to kind of zigzag back the other way. We've got yellow next, so I'm finding my yellow. And then it kind of goes back into some green again, just a real little one. So that kind of indicates that ribbon logo and then I've got another little spray of color underneath with the red and the blue kind of hook right there. So red hook, blue hook, and a green hook that kind of comes out underneath. So there you have the Paralympic mascot of 2022. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have fun drawing it yourself. Let me know how it goes. If you enjoyed this, check out my other mascot tutorial on how to draw Bing Dwen Dwen, the panda, who's also adorable. And please like and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.